Recently, I received a 2015 MacBook Air with a faulty SSD. The client wanted to update her MacBook Air to the newest version of macOS Big Sur 11.2 and on the installation process it stuck in the restart loop and the strange thing about it is that the macOS could not make the update because of the hard drive that was full. Basically it should had to warn you before you install the new update that there is not enough space on your hard drive and in the installation process the computer restarted but it kept restarting and restarting and after taking it to the recovery mode it even did not allow to reinstall the macOS because of the low storage on the drive. So this is the 2015 MacBook Air that has too low of a storage to finish updating to the newest macOS Big Sur. I just restarted the MacBook Air by holding Command and R buttons together so it goes to the recovery mode, so we choose English and right now normally we would choose the second option reinstall macOS Big Sur and so all the files will be safe it will only reinstall the missing parts on the system that allowed it to run normally when it click continue and it has only the stock 128 gigabytes of ssd storage inside so it's full we click install macOS Big Sur we click agree but after that we can see that there are even two partitions but the disk drive is one and when we click on it it says there is not enough free space on the selected volume to upgrade to the OS and additional 20.9 gigabytes is required and it has only 16 megabytes so I, I have no clue why it even started to update and the other partition says it needs an additional 17 gigabytes so what I want to do right now is to create a macOS external hard drive that I can run from when plugged in to the faulty MacBook Air. That way I will see the files on it and I can copy them out of the MacBook Air's SSD. So that way I can empty it. So the best way to do it, here I have my Samsung SSD, Samsung T5 plugged in. I will restart the computer. I will go to recovery mode on my main computer. When restarting, I will hold Command button and R button together and wait for the recovery mode to appear. And then I will choose to reinstall macOS Big Sur to my Samsung T5. So we need to restart our computer. Let's go here. Restart. Restart. And as I mentioned, as soon as the computer restarts, we just push Command R on the recovery mode. Keep pushing until you see the loading bar right now. So it asks to select my name, my profile, click next, enter my password, click continue. And there you have it. There are these options. And what you need to choose is the second option here. Reinstall macOS Big Sur. Click here, click continue, continue. It says an internet connection is required to install macOS. So, at the right upper corner, you see the Wi-Fi signal antenna. Just click on it. There are all the Wi-Fi's you need. Just select yours. And the Wi-Fi is active. So, again, reinstall macOS Big Sur. Continue. Continue. Agree to terms. Again, agree. There you can see all the drives. I have Bootcamp Windows 10 installed as a partition to the main Macintosh SSD. But this is the Samsung T5 external drive here. But as we click on it, it says the disk is not formatted as macOS extended journals. Use disk utility to enable journaling or reformat the disk. So we go back. We go back here. And here is the main screen. So let's click disk utility and click continue. And there are all the drives. There is my Samsung T5 and what we're going to do, we're going to click on it, click Erase and here it's in XFAT. We need to choose macOS Extended Journal. Let's keep the name Samsung T5 and click Erase. So it's formatting it and it's already done. Just click Done, quit the Disk Utility app, click Continue, Continue, Agree. Let's go to Disk Utility, click Continue, 
we need to format it to APFS volume. The macOS extended journal did not work, so I tried the APFS. So let's quit Disk Utility and once again reinstall macOS Big Sur. That's interesting that it said that you, you need to format it in macOS extended journal. And after that, the partition wasn't active. So APFS is the newest volume format already a couple of years. So let's see, agree. Yes, and it's active. So Mac OS, just select the disk where you want to install the Mac OS. So Samsung T5 drive is finally ready for the Mac OS Big Sur to be installed on. Click on the Samsung T5 drive and click continue. So this is the installation process. We need to wait 20 minutes. And after that, I'll be back. So the Mac OS just installed on the external hard drive. So we just need to select our country origin. We can customize the settings. Migration Assistant, not now. You can sign in to your Apple ID. So we just go through all these steps. Click Continue. And the way that we can check if we can run macOS Big Sur from the external Samsung T5 disk is to go to the System Preferences Go to the startup disk. And here we can see all the startup disks. This is the bootcamp Windows 10 that I have already created from my main Macintosh SSD. And we can restart them from any of these drives. So let's restart Mac OS from my main disk. Click the disk and click restart. We can click the option button. Just hold the option button. So that way we can see all three my disks. So we can boot from the Macintosh SSD, that's my main drive. This is the bootcamp for Windows 10 and this is the Samsung T5. So let's not waste any time and click the Samsung T5 and boot the Mac OS Big Sur from it. And our experiment ended very well. So now you know the method, how to create an external SSD that can run the macOS Big Sur as an individual drive. So next thing that we're gonna do, go to System Preferences, start with disk, restart the macOS in Macintosh SSD, my main drive, and disconnect the Samsung T5. And the desktop should look different. So we know that it boots from the main drive. So I'll disconnect the drive, so it's no more, you can see. Just disconnected. So we are back to my main desktop. So we choose the Samsung T5, click enter, and it starts booting from the Samsung T5. So now we're in the freshly created macOS Big Sur external drive. And if you like this video, subscribe to this channel and my Instagram profile at TechYourThrough as well. Take care and let's meet in the next episode of TechYourThrough.